Hello. In this section of the Aerohive Getting Started video series, I will demonstrate how to view the status of your active wireless clients and use a powerful tool called Client Monitor to view the protocol level information of wireless clients that connect to the network. Once you have connected your wireless devices to the corporate or guest SSIDs, you can view the active clients list by going to Monitor Clients Active Clients. Here you can see a list of clients connected to APs managed by Hive Manager. For example, you can see the iPhone that was just connected, along with its client health, IP address, host name, VLAN, and the amount of data used in the last two hours. If you scroll to the right, you can get more information. Here you can see the RSSI value, or Receive Signal Strength Indicator. Note that an RSSI of negative 40 dBm is a very high signal strength and negative 80 is a low signal strength. Here you can also see the signal to noise ratio. This indicates how strong your Wi-Fi signal is over the Wi-Fi noise. For good performance, your signal to noise ratio should be at least 20 dB. For optimal performance, it should be at 25 dB or better. You also have the ability to click the Edit Columns button. This lets you customize the columns you want to see and the order in which they are displayed. You can also click the MAC address of a wireless client to get more detailed client information. Here you can see all the information gathered by Hive Manager for a client. If the client has not been connected long, you can click refresh for an update of the information. Now I will go back to the active clients list so I can show you a very powerful feature called Client Monitor. Client Monitor lets you get protocol level information about a client as it connects to an AP. This is very useful to troubleshoot a client if it is having problems. For example, I will monitor my MacBook. Click Operation, Client Monitor. Because my client was selected when I started Client Monitor, it is pre-populated in the client MAC address list. If my client is having problems associating, I could have clicked Add New Client and entered my client's Wi-Fi MAC address here without delimiters. If you are using topology maps, you can select the location to narrow the scope of the search for the client. Likewise, if you know the AP the client is associated with, you can select it here. Otherwise, Hive Manager will ask all the APs specified to look for the client MAC address. This is especially useful if your client is roaming. Then I will click Add. I then like to filter probes in most cases because I typically do not have a problem where I need to see probe requests and responses. And because my client monitor log will be filled up with probe requests and probe responses if, if I do not click Filter Probe. Finally, you can click Start and leave the monitor running. You can even exit the client monitor screen, leave it running, and then go back in at any time to check on the status. Now, I will disconnect my Mac from the network and then reconnect it. I can also drag the corner of the screen to expand the client monitor. Here we can see that my client got disconnected from the network. I will then reconnect it.
Here you can see the WPA2 exchange as well as the DHCP message from the client to the server and back. If there is a client problem, looking here typically helps. When done, you can click Stop. And then close your window. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in other modules. Thank you for taking the time to watch this section of the Arrowhide Getting Started video series. If you have more time, please proceed to the next section.